There's a pride in this place we call our home away from home. There's a fundamental legacy at our club that speaks to its Carolina roots. We started planning this renovation two and a half years ago. Members had requested via survey that we would focus on local artists, so we put together a really great process to make selections, and I think you'll like what we've done. These are unique people, fiercely proud of what they do, and obviously very talented. We hope you will enjoy these artists' stories and the work as much as we do. So I'm Carmen Gordon. Um, I live here in Carthage, North Carolina, or Carthage, Moore County. So this, this love or this desire to work in um, this old tradition has always been in me. Back when I was growing up in our little town, our, you know, we had a, um, a small library and at the time, you know, art books were, a lot of them were black and white um, photos of, the, of, of master paintings. And if they were in color, they were in terrible um, color. But I still um, just had this affection for um, that kind of work. It just spoke to me somehow. You know, when I was ready for training, 70s, 80s, that was not appreciated anymore. So a lot of the colleges weren't, they weren't teaching that method anymore. I ended up getting married young and, uh, and family sort of took over that. We would take Sunday drives. Um, not sure if people do that anymore, but um, we would uh, take these drives and sort of explore the area. And we came upon the sleepy town of Southern Pines back in 1986 and uh, really fell in love with it. It reminded us a lot of New England um, and our hometowns. So um, we ended up settling there uh, shortly after he was um, accepted into Delta Force. And, um, and our family, we started to uh, have a family and um, started to call uh, Southern Pines um, home. Um, <clears throat> in 93, my um, uh, late husband was killed in Mogadishu and um, decided to stay in the area because it truly has become, it was, it was home. My children were raised here and, um, and the community was a really strong support. In our little town of um, Southern Pines here in Moore County, we have a classical academy. It's ran by Jeffrey Mims. Um, and at the time he was running uh, a program that was exactly what I wanted. The painting process is uh, not as simple as, you know, it, you know, say you have uh, the branch and, you know, it's brown. Uh, most people will look at it and say, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's brown. Um, there are so many more colors that you are um, seeing. And I remember during my training one time and um, I'm working with some artists and I, I didn't, I couldn't see color. And I was just like, I just felt like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna see this color. And I remember one of the artists telling me, she goes, oh no, and the day that you do see color, Carmen, it's gonna be a whole new world. And so with weathering the storm, it, we actually had had a hurricane. And uh, the next day we decided to, uh, you know, check our property to see what kind of damage um, we may have incurred. And here there was this tree that had, um, uh, had the ravishes of the of the hurricane and amazingly this one branch that had been broken um, there was this nest and obviously the tree had taken the hit um, with the hurricane but here this little nest um, cupped in between these these two little arches of, of this uh, branch looked like it never was touched. I mean, it was, there wasn't a, seemed to be anyways, a twig out of place. And I just found such strength in that little nest. And the thought of the engineering that, you know, two little birds had done, um, where, you know, maybe most, most times, you know, we don't, we don't take the time to think about those little things. Um, um, and it, it survived, it survived. And uh, it was a home that obviously probably raised, you know, some little birds and, um, and, and here it was. 
on, um, still clinging on to this branch after the storm in practically perfect condition. So I wanted to just to, to capture that and those emotions that I thought of um, when we when we when we found that um, hanging from the tree. And so in the branch, it's not just brown. There are purples. There are reds. There are pinks. There are an uh, infinity amount of browns in that branch and they are layered um, upon layer upon layer so I couldn't begin to tell you how many layers of paint that are probably on there um, because I guess you could say that it it took from the very first drawing that I drew on the wall of my family when I was probably four <laughs> to get to where I am today. The idea that, um, you know, the Country Club of North Carolina has decided to uh, use this approach in their um, renovation um, is really forward thinking. When you enter the Country Club of North Carolina, there will be the voices of artists uh, speaking and telling stories of these surroundings. They are setting the stage for something that could really be um, something that this area could be known for. My studio is always open um, for you know anybody that wants to come and um, have a visit and look at my work and uh, get to know me better and more about my work, I can always purchase directly from me, from my studio. I find beauty in, in nature and in really simple objects, um, like the dandelion, like the bearded beggar ticks that uh, line the um, roads at this time of year in Moore County, um, like the bird nests that um, are in our branches. Um, these little simple things I hope to express in my paintings and the beauty in those simple things. And um, especially in our uh, time, we are so busy uh, and bombarded with um, things on the computer, social media, um, images, billboards, um, I think uh, a lot of us uh, get caught up in that and we forget to look at the beauty in something as simple as a bird's nest. <laughs>